we have had a long day. We're waiting to board our flight. We're ready for sleep. How do you feel? Tired. <laughs> ready to go. Late. Yeah. This is a seven hour flight to London. And I'm very excited. And I'm very tired. So, welcome to the London part of this vlog. got ready in the bathroom again. It's freezing out. Yeah. Well, it might rain. So. No, I'm gonna freak out. My hair's on. It's really hot. We got to our room. <laughs> Where's the bidet? It's cute. This is the bed. We have basically no see lighting in here. It was so dark. Oh. Okay, interesting. interesting <laughs> yeah this is don't know what that is I kind of want to pull it I don't think you should what is it? I don't know well we're here we made it I can't even complain because <laughs> I was dying <laughs> So please ignore my appearance. I am in my pajamas and we are in for the night. We took like a two hour nap <laughs> because we were so, so tired. And we've just been hanging out here. It is rainy and cold. And so we are staying in tonight and we just ordered some room service. We ordered some tea earlier. So I have my tea my peppermint tea over here uh we just ordered some food which is going to be here in like half hour i think um and we're going to watch ted lasso and call it a night because we are very tired and we have a busy busy couple of days oh, all right so we're this is day two and we got out at noon um, we literally slept for like 10 hours. Yeah, because it was we were needed, so tired. Though. It was needed. I feel yeah. a lot better. Um, this is how okay. This is how close we are to Big Ben. It's crazy. We're gonna go get some brunch right now. We're gonna film some content, some thrifting for me, and then what else? Shopping. We're, we made an itinerary, so we're trying to be smart yeah. about our time. So this is 
her. Are you, am I pointing it? So that's kind of what our plan is for today. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Um, it's like a organization day. Yeah. Getting organization content, shopping day. Shopping. And then we're hitting up some places for Claire. Some places for Claire. And then one bookstore for me and for content. Yeah. So that's our day. Come along with us as we go get brunch at a really cute spot. <laughs> window here because as I was getting ready um, I plugged in my straightener to fix my bangs and I blew the power out of our room <laughs> so we're waiting for someone to come and uh, I guess turn the fuse box on I don't know if that's right I don't know if that's right but we are in a pitch black room because Apparently the converter or the yeah converter that we have um, doesn't work with my straightener, so it's off to a off to a fun morning. I mean, it's an <laughs>
Okay, you guys have to check out the bathroom where we're at for tea. Like this is <laughs> absolutely crazy. If you know Sketch, you know that it's famous for its bathrooms. <laughs> MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> I sleep in here. Welcome to my crib. These are literally bathrooms, dude. What? Is there an egg that faces you? Let's <laughs> come out. Oh my god. Welcome to my home. Welcome to Vogue. Vogue 73 questions. We're gonna go see Beetlejuice uh, tonight. <laughs> we got pizza and pasta. So, we're very excited. We're gonna eat and then go to the movie. Okay, so we are back from the movie. What did you think of it? Uh, without giving spoilers. I don't, I think I agree with your sentiments of earlier. If it's not broken, don't fix it. It's I, not a bad, it's not a bad movie. No. It's just, I think in my opinion, they tried to make it a little bit too much, like the old one, where it felt a little like character -y, instead of the original that was just like naturally weird. Yeah. Like Tim Burton was trying to make it weird on purpose when usually he's just weird naturally, if that makes sense. Yeah. So... A lot of it also didn't make sense, kind of. There was a lot of different plots. A lot, a lot was going on. Like we got Beetlejuice's like backstory, which didn't make sense to me, in my opinion. Yeah, like, I basically uh, said that. It was weird. I've there is very <laughs> few occasions where I've liked a sequel. There is a lot of movies that I love that should just stay where they're at. Yeah. And Beetlejuice is one of them. We're big like horror fans. Yeah. And like spooky, scary Halloween things. Like we love all that. So sure. we needed to see it obviously, but like, mm -hmm. yeah, it was just, I don't know. I was disappointed. Like love seeing the characters love. It was the funny. First one. It was it had funny. Good, it had good jokes in it. Um, yeah. I don't think it was executed. I mean, I think for people who saw the original and like it's like a yearly watch for them, like it's part of their like regular fall Halloween -y routine. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they'd like it. I don't know. I'd be interesting to see if they if they liked it, but I it feel like it just came out. Yeah, like, it, today it came out like a week is, ago. Today is September 13th, Friday the 13th. It came out a week ago. So, um, I don't know. I think it'd be interesting to see like what other people's opinions were, but yeah. I mean, Michael Keaton was amazing. He's always good as Beetlejuice. I, love, I don't think that that performance changed. I think he was good. I love Catherine O'Hara. I love Winona mm -hmm. Ryder. Like, love those characters. I think um. And love those just actresses. What's her name? Um, Jenna Ortega. I think she was a good pick. Yeah, she was she's a perfect like, pick. She's like Tim Burton's. I heard somewhere that she's like his new, like, you know how Johnny Depp was his, like, his new obsession. muse for a long time. I think that she is, or something like that. I don't know if that's true, but I, I just think that she has the acting capability to do what she had to do, and she did it well. Yeah. It wasn't the actors that were wrong. I just think the story that was written well, in yeah. my opinion. I don't think it was written as good as it maybe yeah. could have, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know. I think a lot of things were also rushed. Yeah. We didn't have good endings on a lot of things. Yeah. But anyways, I think I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for London. Um we have another place that we're going to, um, which I will start the vlog for tomorrow because we leave at around like one I think. One tomorrow. Something like that. Um and if you follow me on Instagram you kind of already have seen the journey and by the time this is up and if you've seen my Instagram It's gonna be a obviously a spoiler, but you yep. we're going to Paris next Paris France Yay. And it's Ariana's first time It's and, my dream. Yeah, and if you don't 
know already or if I haven't said it enough, we've been doing this, we decided to do this trip because we're celebrating 10 years of friendship. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do this during COVID, well, pre-COVID, pre -COVID. but wanted to go in 2020. Obviously that didn't happen, so this has been years and years and years in the making. Yup. And um, it's finally here, and so we will be gone for about three weeks when it's all said and done. So you'll have a couple more vlogs coming, hopefully more thrifting things <laughs> coming, um, because this is like, we're going into part three of four. And yeah, so. I don't think I'll add anything else tomorrow, but if I do, I'll show it here. But otherwise, I will see you guys in Paris. I'm so excited! Sorry. Look what you're making me do. You're making me embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday, what are you wearing? Sarah <laughs> <laughs> is like sitting at the top. 